these two tech geniuses take his body and regenerate it, recode his cells and make him, you know, the perfect specimen of man. I'm Oliver Trevino here on the Young Hollywood Sofa, joined by my fellow Brit, Rob Kaczynski. Georgie's taken to you. Georgie has taken to me. She can smell my dogs on me, can't you? I don't know if it's the dogs. I think it's just you. It might be me. me dogs seem to understand me. I seem to have, share a kind of a similar mental capacity to most dogs. Meaning? Meaning I'm not the brightest button in the drawer. I wouldn't say that. No, you know, there's just this kind of understanding of, of I just need to be fed and walked once okay. a day and then I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty, I'm pretty similar. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I think the term not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I mean, we own it. We own it. We do Yeah, I've got, I got no problems with it. We're you from know. similar areas Exactly. This and... this little girl is very, very, very happy. She is very happy. Right? She is I mean? very happy. So That's all you need. If I could just have somebody <laughs> just rubbing my head every Come 10 here. minutes, Come on. thanks. Oh, oh, he see? loves that. He loves that. Yeah, I've got, got in good, <laughs> good fingers. Second chance. Yeah. Pretty big stuff, this. It went down well. The critics seem right. to have approved it mostly, and the, the audience reaction has been really positive, and uh, it's, uh, it, it looks like it's going to be a good show. Jimmy Pritchard, who, right. uh, who is a really, really cool character. He's this 75-year-old guy right. who is murdered, and then these two tech geniuses take his body and regenerate it, recode his cells, and make him, you know, the perfect specimen of man. And, and it's got that Frankenstein thing in there where, you're, where you don't want to like him because he is a, somewhat of a monster. Yeah. But you end up liking him. Well... You're likeable. There's the thing. He's fallible and people should be able to relate to him as much more of a consistent person than perhaps, you know, Captain Steve Rogers. You right. know, he's not Captain America. He's not leaping tall buildings or, you know, picking up buses. But he is, you know, he's basically as powerfully human as you can get. It's grounded in this kind of believable and microcosmic view of a human being in this situation. Which which does have that aspect because when you're watching it it's it's believable. You know, That's which is nice idea. because he's not flying, he's well, not people doing anything. Don't, people, you, know. you know, we're oversaturated with uh, superpowers right. in the world right. today. And uh, it's nice to have just a human being Right. Uh, and also a fallible human being. He's not a paragon of virtue in any way, shape or form. He's not even a particularly nice man. Right. And he's absolutely the last person that should be given a second chance. Second chance. Uh, and that was so see, subtle. That so was so smooth. smooth. Talking about being the perfect specimen of a man, is it a lot of pressure on a show like that? Because, you, you know, you're in physical shape, your top's off. Well, there was. Right. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> there was. I lost, uh, I, you know, most of the jobs that I've done, have involved putting on a lot of weight. I put on 50 pounds of muscle for Pacific Rim. Right. Uh, I put on a lot of weight accidentally for Warcraft. You know, there's a lot of roles that require a guy to be big. And then um, this one, I lost 30 pounds to play this part. Right. Uh, and <laughs> I tried really hard to stay in shape as much as I possibly can. Failed miserably during the process. Uh, you know, there's this wonderful poster of me in the water doing this. That's just it's my, on my wall. That's just my I'm head. Kind of on my wall. It's just my head. It's, it's just my head just on, head, on some it? really handsome guy's body. Okay. And thank you, handsome guy, for giving me your body. Well, that's uh, where we first met, believe right. it or not. Yeah, I well, did that. Well, that was him. And it was. Just, yeah. Once again, it went what all downhill. What fantastic pecs you have, Thanks. by the way. It's that, that it's, move, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it just that makes move. them pop. If you put your head on me right now. Yeah, it'd be perfect. See? Is that it's, it? It's uncanny. Is that it? It's weird, isn't Although it? Although my head on you would look ridiculously large, I think. Would it? Uh, what are you trying to say? Uh, no. What are you, trying, are you I'm, trying to say? I'm, I've got a pin body. No, I'm saying I'm 220 pounds. Of, all right, of, it's not of, a competition. All right, well, I'm 100 and something pounds. Don't feel of, insecure. Of, well, okay. I am now, aren't I, Rob? <laughs> this is, there's no need for this. There's absolutely no need for this. A few moments ago, you mentioned Warcraft. Yeah, we got Warcraft coming out in June. Just a small project. Not, not a big one. Not a big Just, one. So, you know, never really heard of it, nor has anyone else. Um, well, I played the game. Uh, right. And I played the game to a very, very high level. Oh, you did? Yeah. I, you were... It was, you know, after after EastEnders back right. home, there was about 18 months where I didn't want to leave the house. And for those 18 months, I played this game for about 18 months. Was hours that because of EastEnders? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Right. You know, this game was uh, this game was more important to me than um, most of my relationships in my life. And, wow. You know, I've been playing with the same 25 people for the last 10 years. And most of us, you know, I, I've probably had more conversations and more in-depth you know, revelations about humanity with the guys that I'm on team speak with than I am than I have with anybody else. It's brilliant. I, I could I could listen to you just talk about stuff all day. You know, funny have you ever thought of audio books? Have you ever thought of audio books? Yeah, I, I tried them once. <laughs> really? I swear too much. Really? You do? <laughs> yeah. I could just give you like my favourite tales and just get Rob What's Kaczynski really funny, telling yeah? Princess Bride but or something English, like that. You shouldn't be that impressed. I, I mean, am though. Everything, I'm being everything, honest. Everything we say is eight percent. Sounds eight percent more intelligent it and does. charming. So I've got ten percent going. You got ten percent. I've got ten percent. Yeah, I'll start yeah. with two. I've got an extra eight <laughs> yeah, for being exactly. British. Um, no, brilliant stuff. Um, so happy the thing is going well. Thank you. Um, 
second chance. Check him out on it. It's great. See you.